The terms sales and marketing often get thrown around together and are used interchangeably, but they're two very different business functions with different strategies, objectives, and criteria. But while sales and marketing are both very different, they're also very important, which is why in this episode, we're gonna cover the key differences between sales and marketing and help you decide which one is gonna be more important for your business. Hey there, my name is Adam Earhart, Modern Marketing Strategist, and welcome to The Modern Marketing Show, where we help you grow your business by making way better marketing. So if you're interested in learning the latest and greatest marketing strategies, tools, tips, tricks, and tactics, well, you may wanna consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. I've said this before, but when I first got started in business, I was absolutely terrible at sales, which probably explains why I fell in love so hard with marketing and essentially the concept of pre-selling and pre-educating and pre-qualifying clients and prospects before I ever had to do any selling. But as I gained experience and over the years, I started to see that sales was not only an incredibly valuable business function, but it was the marriage between sales and marketing that really led to true business success. Now you can survive by just leveraging one or the other by really focusing on just sales or just marketing, but it's the strategic combination of both of them that really leads to true business growth. So let's dive into that now. But before we do, I'd love to get your opinion on which camp you think is more important, team sales or team marketing? Let me know in the comment section below with team marketing or team sales, love to hear. So the very first thing I need to cover here is that it's incredibly important which type of market or business or industry that you're operating in, because this is gonna significantly sway the scale in one direction or another. For example, if you're in a high touch, high value, high priced business, or a business that requires personal or customized solutions, or that deals with sensitive information, well then a sales focused approach is gonna be significantly better for you. This is often the case in business to business or B2B businesses, where the person being sold to isn't a person at all, but actually another business. Typically, these interactions are longer term, higher value, higher priced, and the prospect, in this case, the business, is gonna need to be wined and dined a little bit before making that decision, in which case a sales approach really plays out big here. On the other hand, if you're in a lower value, lower priced business, where it's simply not realistic for the salesperson to get on the phone with every potential prospect, such as in the case if you're selling, say, a supplement or a piece of clothing or an apparel line, then a more marketing focused approach is really gonna be key here. This is often the case in business to consumer or B2C businesses where the end consumer is in fact an actual consumer and it's really not realistic for the salesperson to go out there and chat with every single one of them. After all, you're not gonna be able to call every single person who wants to buy a bottle of vitamins or a t-shirt. Typically, B2B businesses or those that are selling to other businesses are gonna have a more sales focused approach that's supported by marketing. B2C businesses, on the other hand, those that sell directly to consumers are gonna have a more marketing focused approach, but you will see sales start to come into play as you move higher up the pricing tiers. In the case with say, expensive cars or boats or planes or real estate. So here's how sales and marketing differ. The biggest thing to know when it comes to marketing is that marketing is typically focused on one of two things, either brand awareness or lead generation. Basically, marketing's goal is to introduce people who could potentially buy and let them know about the product, about the service, or about the business, and why they should care. Marketing wants to bring people into the ecosphere of that company. And it's their job to paint a picture of how things could be, or the end state that a customer could achieve by doing business with the company. Another important aspect of marketing, and one that'll really help to win some favor in the sales department, is by making sure that marketing is targeting the right kind of people, and allowing the marketing to do some of the pre-qualification, ensuring that the right people are getting guided into the business's ecosphere and into the sales funnel, so that sales is gonna have a higher likelihood of converting them into customers later. The big differentiator here is the term educator, which is really what marketing is all about. Essentially educating potential customers or potential prospects about the business or product or service, about who it's for, about why they should care, and about what kind of impact it can have on their lives. All right, so if marketing is responsible for things like brand awareness and lead generation, well then it's sales responsibility to take all of the awareness that was built and the leads that were generated and then convert those leads into paying customers or clients. Where marketing is gonna go out there and tell stories and educate and inform and really paint a vivid picture, well it's sales responsibility to then listen and ask questions and essentially learn everything it can about the potential prospect in order to properly diagnose a solution, which hopefully is the business or product or service that is trying to sell. The best salespeople today aren't pushy or salesy or aggressive or sleazy or anything like the old cliches of used car salesmen or old salespeople of past. Rather, the best salespeople listen. They're empathetic, they understand, and they ask a lot of questions in order to understand where the customer or prospect is coming from so they can listen and diagnose an appropriate solution. 
If marketers are educators, then salespeople are advisors, and they help to guide and advise the prospect in the direction that's best for them. So as different as sales and marketing are, well, there's still a ton of similarities between the two. Namely, the fact that both of them deploy some strategic combination of art and science, essentially understanding key features and benefits of the product and the service, but also finding ways to leverage human interaction, buyer behavior, and the psychology behind how people make decisions. Also, while B2C sales and marketing tend to be more emotionally based, and B2B sales and marketing tend to be more logic and rational driven, well, there's definitely elements to both. Because we as human beings, well, we make decisions emotionally first, and then we justify them and back them up logically and rationally later. This is why it's important to have both emotional and logical elements in all of your sales and marketing. Also, both sales and marketing are going to take a look at key performance indicators, or KPIs, to make sure that they're on track to hit their goals. These can include things like cost per lead, lead conversion rate, sales close percentage, and customer acquisition cost, all of which are going to help build a profitable and cohesive sales and marketing strategy. You've heard the story. Marketing blames sales for not converting the leads that they gave them, and sales blames marketing for giving them terrible and unqualified leads. So who's right? Well, they're both kind of right and they're both kind of wrong, because the best companies are the ones that leverage sales and marketing and get them to work together cohesively as one strategic team. Doing the customer research together and making sure that marketing's going after the right people, and then also getting feedback from sales on what messages and what kind of marketing materials are helping to guide and to pre-qualify and essentially to help make the sales close process that much easier. It's a never-ending feedback loop that all of the best companies deploy to ensure that their sales and their marketing just keeps getting more and more effective over time. Basically, in the best businesses, sales and marketing work together as a team. Sure, they might be different departments, but they come together as a team. So, which one's more important, sales or marketing? Well, as a marketer, it's really hard for me to say this. Like, really hard. Well, while both of them are important, the reality is that sales can succeed with a Sales can succeed with a what? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <sighs> Just think about cold calling, or door knocking, or attending endless networking events. Yeah, it sounds terrible, I know. Which means that maybe, Technically, sales might be more important than marketing, but only in the short term. In the long term, marketing wins by a landslide, by building trust and loyalty and authority, and by providing more value and essentially making the sales process that much easier. So, which one's more important? Well, the short term win definitely goes to sales, but the long term win goes to marketing. But at the end of the day, successful marketing leads to successful sales. The next thing you're going to want to do is check out the video I have linked up right here, part of this B2B versus B2C series, giving you more actionable strategies and advice and things you can immediately deploy in your business. So make sure to check back then. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time on The Modern Marketing Show. So, what would you like to do? Hardly a compelling close. And yet, I would still more often than not make the sale. So why? Well, what I